So we're walking into Cresta Flat. I think this is a real hidden gem. It's three bedrooms, little maisonette, tucked nicely away right in the center of town. The access is just off of Raw Square, the small little alleyway. It takes you down the front of these cottages we see and into a, a little rear gate, a little rear wooden gate, into another little alleyway, up some steps here into the entrance, which you see here of Cresta Flat. So we walk in, we've got a little entrance vestibule, little intercom system, lovely little fitted kitchen. Got a four ring Neff electric hob, electric oven under. There's extractor fan and a fairly recently installed Worcester boiler. Got these double glazed windows to the rear. It's quite a pleasant outlook to be fair. You're looking on these little cottages that you don't necessarily see uh, from the road in St. Ives. We have a built-in dishwasher in that cupboard there and we have a built-in fridge freezer in these two units below there. Stainless steel sink unit. Yeah, really nicely done. So the current owner uses this as an Airbnb. Ideal for that again. Or if you wanted to put it through an agent, equally as successful. Also a great little place to live in as well. I mean, I'd love to live here, right in the center of town. Three beds, lovely. From the kitchen, we have a little utility cupboard. So we've got the plumbing for the washing machine and a space for a little dryer above. Showing you the guest boilers, guest central heating throughout, and then we have a shower room. So we've got a walk-in shower cubicles, mains connected shower. We have a wash hand basin with a little cupboard unit below, and a WC and heated towel room. That's a frosted window to the side. Walk into the lounge diner. Again, perfectly good size. We've got two windows to the rear. One's frosted. That's the other window to the rear, which looks out onto the, the stairs going up to the flat above. But lovely room, radiator, great size. Sit seat six quite comfortably. Seat six quite comfortably. It's a really good little size room. We've got stairs leading to the third bedroom, the room up in the attic. It's a little space there under the stairs for the obligatory ironing board and the extra chairs for the dining table. So this would be bedroom one. We have a radiator, great size double. You certainly get a king size in there. This is looking like a queen size bed, but certainly get a king size in without any trouble at all. And I'll show you where we are exactly. It's a little bit confused. This is the window to the front, so that's Trigena Place. So you've got the Aisha Coco shop there and the corp right opposite, which is obviously very handy. And that's where we are in relation to the, to the town. If you want a less than five minute walk right down to the, the central part of the harbour. Plenty of power points and it's a radiator. We have the smaller bedroom, which is currently laying out as a twin. Perfectly good size, double glazed window to the front there again. You can see the co-op in the distance and power points. And we have a radiator behind me. And finally upstairs. There's another big bedroom. Vaulted ceilings, we have a Velux window. We have doors out to a small balcony here, which I'll take you out to. It's all very pleasant. Shows you the bit of the location. So you've got Royal Square in that distance there. And the other cop just over that way. It's only a different outlook. Lovely, sunny, most pleasant space to sit. That's Bedford Road Church there. So again, gives you an idea of where we are in relation to the town from the rear of the property. And 
this is coming back into the bedroom again. Plenty of storage under the eaves. Got plenty of power points. We have a radiator tucked away in one of the alcoves. So this property is going to come onto the market at 249,950. I think it's quite a competitive price really when you look around at what else is selling in St. Ives at the moment. Um, quick recap, it's three bedrooms, got two doubles, nice twin, nice big lounge, dining area. Through to the shower room. As we can see, and then into the kitchen. As I said, the owner currently Airbnb's this. Could easily give this to a letting agent to look after if you wanted to. I'm sure they'd be pleased to, to take it off your hands. Equally, if you wanted something to live in right in town, there are some steps coming up to it, but nothing too drastic. If you wanted something to live in right in town, a really nice little three bed, um, close to all the amenities. I said you've got carp right on your doorstep. The doctor's surgery is literally just a, a five minute walk away. And again, less than a five minute walk down to the center of the harbor. Um, this is certainly a place for you. Really lovely little place. I think it's lovely. For information, for more information, please give uh, Cross Estates a call and we'll be willing to help.